honest, my background, um, I uh, did my um, college degree back in Portugal, my, my native country. Then I moved to the UK where I did my master's in London and my, my PhD in economics in the UK, in, in York. Um, as, I, I, as I tend to tell you know, people on both sides of the Atlantic, it's old York, not New York. And, and at Old York, we had a, a small group doing a lot on economics, but essentially economics of crime. And this is the 1990s, so there was still very little empirical legal studies and mostly was applying microeconomics to some areas of the law. Um, I, I, I did then start in my career at Pompo Fabra in Barcelona. And eventually I wanted to move to law school. So I came to the US because in, in Europe it's more difficult. And that's how I got to Illinois in 2007. And that's what I've been doing, law and economics with an, a strong empirical legal studies angle in the last couple of years. I think we wanted to have a broader approach in the, in the, in the new journal in the elements. So this will include uh, standard uh, judicial politics, uh, Supreme Court, uh, both theory and empirical, um, and empirical approaches, but also um, the role of legal professions in politics. And uh, we really want to get into the interaction of law and politics in terms of uh, legislative and executive powers. Uh, new trends on experiments, natural experiments, um, eventually election law. Uh, but I think we'll be extremely broad in terms of methods and in terms of how we interpret law and politics. There will be two major advantages. One is the flexibility of the structure, which we will um, uh, you know, have a standard articles, but also longer articles. So I think that will give us a broader and more flexible approach to how scholars uh, place their work. We will, uh, we will uh, plan and intend to use um, new technologies. That is not just, not just the, the old store or a paper, but, but in fact, video or audio when, when appropriate, obviously. And, 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 and the authors will have a word on this. So that's, that's, one approach. The other thing I, I, I would emphasize is this flexibility of different angles in law and economics, law and social science broadly defined. I think there's no journal out there that really tries to go beyond the core of law and economics into law and politics, law and sociology, and law and development. And I think by doing that, we'll have a broader journal to a broader audience. 